You're going to need some sugar cookie mix. I'm using the crusty ass bakery style kind. <laughs> Any kind will do though. Any type of butter. You can use margarine if you like. Butter seems to whip a lot better. And then one egg. Any size will do. You also need some cookie cutters. Mine just happen to be Hello Kitty. And then also some frosting for the top of your cookies. For decorations, you can use any type, of, any type of sugar sprinkles. I have green and yellow and red and pink and then blue. And I also have some frosting. So I'm using black, yellow, and red for this particular one. And then pink for decoration. You want to put your oven on 350 to bake and let that heat up while you're mixing your products. Go ahead and take your sugar cookie mix and put in one egg. And as you can see, I did this around Christmas time, so that's why everything looks like Christmassy. You're going to put that egg in. I'm using half a cup of butter, but I only had the uh, fourth of a cup at a time, so you're going to do two fourth of a cups to put that in there. I'm adding a little bit of vanilla extract. This is totally optional. You really don't have to use it, but I just decided to. Then you're going to mix all of your ingredients together. You can definitely use a beater for this. However, however, I find folding it upon each other makes it a lot easier to roll out because it gives you a nicer consistency on your dough. So I'm just folding this on top of each other over and over again. And then you're going to come to a consistency like this. Once you get to this consistency, it is a little bit sticky, so just be careful. But you're going to take it out on a baking sheet of some sort, put flour on your rolling pin. You're going to want to roll it out. Now, I learned this lesson the hard way because it is an extremely sticky, sticky dough. And because I didn't add any flour to the recipe when I was making it, it immediately stuck to my rolling pan. So that was a horrible mess. I learned that lesson the hard way. So what I eventually ended up doing was just scratching the rolling pan and putting a ton and ton of flour. Flour does nothing to the baking process. It's totally fine. So I just patted it down with a lot of flour and then when I got enough flour to where it wouldn't stick to my rolling pin, I would roll it out that way and that would seem to be a lot easier. So at this point, I got to the point where I was just throwing flour in it to make it not so sticky so that I could push it out. It ended up working out okay. Once you get enough flour in there, it makes the dough not as sticky and I was able to roll it out with my fingers and then use the cookie cutter to get the perfect even cookie that I wanted. You want to have it flat to about um, a little less than half an inch thick so that the cookie is not too thick but it's not too thin. And as you can see, the Hello Kitty cookie cutters, which by the way I got from Walmart for like a dollar, um, cut out perfect little shapes of Hello Kitty cookies. So I'm just going to repeat this process over and over again. The two Hello Kitty shapes come out great. I mean, I just happen to do the body more than the other one, but you can definitely do just the head, just like I'm doing here, and it comes out just as nice. So once you're done with that, you're going to want to go ahead and put them on a cookie sheet with lots of spray, uh, cooking spray, so that they don't get stuck. I did have one cookie that I wanted to see how it would cook regularly, um, so I'm going to go ahead and put those in the oven. Now remember your oven's on 350 degrees. I'm going to set a timer on my microwave so that it can remind me at 10 minutes to go ahead and check on these babies. Now they are done. 10 minutes was perfect timing. As you can see they are golden brown on the outside but they're still nice on the, on the inside. They're not too overdone. So I'm just taking those on a piece of wax paper. This is the design that I could have used. Um, I kind of just did my own thing because after a while it didn't matter. I'm mixing the um, pre-made dre uh, dressing, frosting, so that it's easier to spread. And I'm spreading that with a butter spreader on the cookies. I actually found that not letting it dry was my biggest mistake because when it's wet it's very hard to apply the extra um, like the sprinkles and the other frosting so I started putting a thinner layer so it would dry a little bit better I squeezed some of my decorating icing into a baggie this is a great way to make your own frosting decorator and I cut the tip so that way it would give me a nice thin tip so I could start doing the decorations and as you can see there it worked out great I'm following the design but <laughs> you will see here in a bit it just didn't work out in my favor. Not all my cookies were looking like Hello Kitty. Um, so I tried my best to do what I could. And of course when I got through most of them, the majority of them looked good. Um, some of them not better than others. So I'm going to show you the finished product here. 
Um, the middle one is the only one that I got with the whole Hello Kitty and she turned out nicely. I actually thought she was really cute, but it was just so tedious to get that design. So at some point I started to put just like pearls with a bow. All of them had a bow because I felt like that was Hello Kitty and just some sprinkles for Christmas time. I sent these to daycare with Emily and her school loved them. They were a hit. So I thought that those were cute. These ones were a lot easier to do the design on as you can see. A lot of them turned out great. They look exactly like Hello Kitty. Some of them not so much. Those um, I just got lazy and started to do sprinkles in case there was like boys who didn't want a Hello Kitty cookie. That one in particular was really good. <laughs> that one I think was the first one that I did. Not so good. I mean it, you can tell it's Hello Kitty but it's not the best Hello Kitty I've ever done. So this was super super simple. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see anything down below and I'll see you in my next one.